Commander could perhaps be the answer they were looking for. It's an interesting pick. Um, I'm not sure about it in response to Morphling. It is good against the Nature's Prophet, of course, just having all those minions in one area does give your overwhelming odds a nice bit of a kick. So it's going to be interesting to see how much value they get from this Legion Commander. We have seen a couple of Legion Commander games where those early kills, those early duels are just not emphasized enough, I feel, and does kind of cost. Fnatic does pick up that DK in the end, so tying up their draft quite safe, of course, in the mid lane. DK doesn't really lose out. Sometimes doesn't really win, but it always finds that farm it needs. It's going to be played by Ovid, of course. Not one of his flashier heroes. I mean, it's just the nature of Dragonite, right? Not a very flashy sort of hero. But if you play it solidly, it does the work you want. Yeah. I don't mind this pick from Fnatic. I think it just offers that stability they need. Still, we'll see. Of course, it is 1-0 to zero for Pain right now. So Fnatic definitely need to win this matchup. Otherwise, they are going to put themselves in a bit of an awkward position for those playoffs later on. Because I believe there will be a decider match uh, after this as well. But that won't be us. Not sure who's actually casting that. But we'll find out later on. Of course, got to give you another quick shout out to Twitch. As the broadcast, par broadcast partner for Epicenter this time around. A shout out to you as well, John. Good, good to see you here again. Of course, as I spoke about before, you did rush home for this. <laughs> Which is uh, very upsetting. I know you had to give up a hotel room that you really wanted. I'm I'm gonna head back after, mind you, Mike. I am Are you really? <laughs> you're actually you're actually going back no. just so you can yeah. sleep there. No, no. I mean, it, it's a birthday party, Mike. It doesn't end at you know. It doesn't end early, Michael. I'm well, not it's... sure if you've ever been to a party, Mike, but they're pretty fun. Well, first of all, I have been to a party. Thank you, Jonathan. And secondly, <laughs> it's one a.m. in the morning for me. I'm assuming it's eleven p.m. for you. Yeah. Still fairly early, Mike. Come on. Damn Filipinos, John. You always have these weird <laughs> times for everything. <laughs> You're right about that. I'm not arguing about that. We really do. Like, you know, you know the best time for karaoke in the Philippines? 12 midnight. That's I know. My neighbors are Filipino, John. I, they, they keep me up quite often. <laughs> oh, God bless them. God bless them. When you see them, you know, just make sure you let them, let them know you enjoy the singing. They're going to invite you next time. They're not going to stop. They'll I hope invite you to sing with them. I hope they do invite me, John, because I'm not sleeping anyway. I may as well be at the party. <laughs> anyway, thank oh. you for that, John. Always a pleasure talking about your uh, cultural background. Very nice. <laughs> Pain Gaming oh, versus I... Fnatic. Game number two, John. Let's get serious here. I had to ask you as well. Like, we didn't really talk about it at all today. But who do you think, who do you think came out on top in this draft? I'm going to stick with Pain. Really? I like the Wombo just as much because there's no aura to play around. There's no push that the Morphling can accelerate besides his own right-click damage in tearing a tower down, of course. So the Morphling really needs to be online at a certain point to deal that damage. And again, if, if Pain plays perfectly, there's not going to be that space for MP. Well, Jabs, got to be careful. Triple Four hasn't skilled up anything yet, though he can go for the charge. Fire Spirit still coming out of Theo. Charge still not leveled up, and it looks like they will not bother pursuing. It's fair enough. It's still not great kill potential, even with that level 1 charge. So you just dish out the damage. You already have Lelis just going back to the lane to ensure he gets that farm. As it stands, for the moment, they are going to run a bit of a tri lane up at this top lane, up against MP on that Morphling. Again, they are trying to keep that hero down. They understand... But that is Fnatic's momentum right there. It's a big wave that needs to build up. And once it does, it's going to be an unstoppable tsunami. Well, as I said that, John, he does rotate down to the bot lane. So, understanding that he needs to keep Leo alive on that Sven. And DJ going to be there with Ice Ice Ice. So, certainly a lot of potential to kill this Sven off if he's not too careful. And triple Four will remain there for a bit. Soak some XP and dish out some harassment towards DJ. Of course, over to that mid lane as well. 4DR. Already harassing Arbet quite a bit on that DK. Arbet forced to salve up very early on. And of course, as the levels go up for Arbet, you get a few more levels in that Dragon Blood. Suddenly, they can't really kill you. But at these early stages, it is still very dangerous for him. Yeah, it's at this point where it's really the worst bit for the DK. Level 1 Dragon Blood, level 1 Breed Fire is not amazing, whereas 4DR and Lina, of course, 
you have uh, Dragon Slave, which is amazing wave clear and damage. And then you get Fury Soul buffs as well by just casting that spell. So your right click exchange is going to be favorable, which is not great for a melee hero like DK. For the moment, at least, MP having a good old time on the Morphling. Not too, uh, not too sure shocked by Lilith on that Legion Commander, nor is he by Theo. Jabs is going to try and continuously keep this man safe on the Nature's Prophet. Well, back to that bot lane. Ice, 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 and DJ taking it pretty easy. Actually, top lane, we did see Jabs actually TPing back. He fell quite low on that Nature's Prophet. That'll give a bit of an opening now to Pain to ensure MP can't just freely farm. Those Fire Spirits just being thrown out constantly by Theo are going to be so annoying towards MP. Definitely so. It's just not easy to last hit as a Smorphling when you're facing so, many, so much damage early on. And that's kind of compounded by your lane partner as well. You know, if those Treants are in the wrong spot, overwhelming odds just hurts a bit more. Lelis, on that Legion Commander, actually going to find himself at the top of the last hit spawn. In fact, he just gets overtaken, but only by his own Lena. This Legion Commander, able to get pretty much anything he wants. MP slowing down just a bit in terms of last hits with 10, though he will start to escalate now that the Creep Wave is underneath his own Tier 1 tower. It's up to Jabs to try and ensure that Creep Equilibrium stays his way. Does stop Theo from pulling, although no, maybe Theo still gets it off. Though no, Treant's pulling the creep wave away once again, so Jab's really outplaying the Phoenix in that in that little uh, support game that we just saw. That'll allow MP to just farm up a bit more safely once again. It definitely is a bit more of a passive game, both sides really just wanting to find that farm, as you mentioned, and Really, it's, uh, I mean, we're at four minutes in with no kills yet, no posturing for kills as well, so definitely is one of the slower matches we've had in a while. You know and what I always think when you down. say that? Every time we cast and you tell me it's a slow game, I think back to the other MOBA that's quite popular uh, in the world, and to think this could go on for another 30 minutes and that would be normal, that no kills <laughs> happen. I mean, man, what a game. <laughs> what a game indeed, and people mate. are entertained by it. I, I don't understand it. Like when I when I'm having trouble sleeping, John, I go to Twitch. There's a certain category I click on, and it only takes me a couple seconds. I don't understand how people watch it while staying awake. I mean, hey, you know there are people that think uh, Mario Kart is better than Crash Team Racing, Mike. So <laughs> you know it's different strokes for different folks, Mike. Don't defend the enemy, John. Don't defend the enemy. <laughs> Jabs still oh. dishing out harassment towards Lilis, though he is looking pretty good right now. MP gonna move in with a little adaptive strike of his own. Lilis actually not going for any of the press the attack right now, so just not feeling threatened at all. Still has a salve available on the Legion Commander as well, so he pretty much can just keep doing this. In fact, he brings some more tangos out on the Courier now. Oh, bot lane. I'm, yes. I, I have to mention. Oh, finally a charge coming out from 444. Yeah, Ice Ice Ice. It's going to be the target, but there's no real follow up to it. No mana for the Storm Hammer. And well, they will go straight after 444 now. They should be able to find him as well. Ice 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 doesn't have any follow up skills, but he doesn't need it. The DJ was there with the Shadow Realm damage, and that will be enough. Of course, Leo did throw out the Storm Hammer eventually, but it was just all too late. Yeah, that was. Strange to say the least. Um, not quite sure why 444 opted to go through with that charge. Nonetheless, he's charging down mid now. Um, Abed in that dragon form, not the easiest target though. Abed gonna be in trouble, but again, he's pretty tanky. How do you actually hold this man down? 444 gets a lucky bash, but now the rest of Fnatic are moving in. They'll go after 40R first. 
He'll be okay, he'll walk out of there successfully in neutral before going back after jabs. He will get the charge off, gets a bash as well, though it's not enough damage quite yet. He needs one more and he will get it. Fnatic though, they want to try and find a bit of punishment, but they will get none of it. So that's a one for one now in the game so far, six minutes and a half in. And again, a pretty heavy rotation down mid really ends up with just one support falling. None of the cores really taking any hits there. Although that does slow down the push from Abed. Again, that was his first dragon form. Doesn't manage to get too much chip damage in that tier 1 down mid. I think that was really the objective of Bane. Just stopping that push in its tracks. And they did manage to successfully do so. Leo. In trouble, DJ. Starting to loop around. That Dark Willow. And they do ping him out. Nice, nice, nice. Can he land a nice spear though? Turns around, trying to find the angle, and he does find it in the end. There will be a TP in from Jabs as well. Leo does throw out the Storm Hammer, but it will not matter. He will eventually end up dying to DJ. The neutral creeps almost stopping that kill from happening, but not quite. Again, a nice pick off this time for Fnatic, and they do manage to find a bigger kill in that. Sven, not the best bit of news for Pain, especially considering that their draft really is expected to be online a bit more, especially with that Spirit Breaker. Not quite happening yet, and Fnatic is just finding these bigger kills, which could possibly cost them that momentum into mid-game. I mean, you take a look up top, and MP is actually doing quite well for himself. He has that Morbid Mask up, so in case this lane falls apart, he can actually farm the jungle now. Yeah, and they've kind of rotated over a lot of heroes to try and take down MP. He doesn't have any, any help around him right now, but can they actually make the dive? They go for the Jewel attempt. Strength Morphing is there though. They charge in now, but the kill is probably not going to be there. MP still walking away pretty safely. Well, MP, what can he really do? He will just waveform and TP out successfully. Meanwhile though, in the mid lane, Fnatic are pushing in that T1 tower while all this is happening. Yeah, it's not the fastest process in the world, but it will eventually tick down with that DK Dragon form. Ellis. They'll spot out Ice 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 on that Mars, but he has a double damage rune. Definitely not the target you want to aim for right now. Pain, they're not really in position to try and defend this T1 tower. They may go for a deny, and well, that is a very nice deny. Lilith just runs in and swipes at it. And so at the very least, you do deny a bit of gold away from Fnatic. It is a bit of a boon. Um, they are starting to face some issues on Pain's draft. Their supports are not really finding that EXP they want. They're still level 4 in the Phoenix, and that's really not what you want to see from a support that really needs that EXP. And well, Theo is trying to soak XP now. It's, been, it's still one level behind DJ on that Dark Willow. But to be careful as well, because MP could go for the Waveform Adaptive Strike. It may not be enough damage, but with a couple right clicks, it should be. So, charge comes in, MP gonna be the target. He hasn't started morphing, and oh my! <laughs> Overwhelming odds, John. It is a thing. It does pay off for Lelis. He doesn't quite get the jewel, but he doesn't really care either way. I mean, just the fact that you do kill MP off is good enough, right? Again, he has had a pretty good run early on. That's not what you want to see. Compared to game one, where he was completely shut down, which really helped Pain set the pace there. So, you know, you really need to expect that aggression to be coming out some more from Pain, And it does feel like they need the EXP to do that. You want a level 6 on your Phoenix. You want level 6 on your Spirit Breaker. They're nowhere near close to that point yet. So it's going to take a bit more time before Pain's going to be comfy and forcing out these 5v5s. Well, both teams, once again, just playing a bit of a farm game. Looks like Lelis looking to jewel Arbed down at the bot lane. He has plenty of support behind. Though Arbed does have supports of his own. And now they drop a sentry ward and they found him. Lelis should be able to survive long enough for his team to help. But no, they don't even try. They'll just stay in the back and kind of watch. Arbed will claim himself a free kill on that position 3 Legion Commander. They might even find 40R now. He's trapped in the tree line. Arena of Blood comes down. Terrorized not even bothering to throw that out in the end. They don't need it. Ice 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 will just go and clean, clean up 40R. Some strange plays coming up from Pain. It 
definitely is. I mean, again, this is very different from what they were doing in game one. It's a much slower pace. They aren't maximizing the Spirit Breaker as much as you'd expect them to. And they're starting to drop a lot more in the map than you'd expect. They've already lost their tier one down mid, of course. They just lost their tier one um, bot. And that's a significant amount of map control now disappearing for him. Well, bot lane, Lelis. Arbed throws the stun out, Ice 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 will go in as well. He does not land the spear on a tree. Now Arbed gets jeweled up. Who's gonna win this one though? It looks like Lelis will win it out in the end. And now Ice 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 gonna be in trouble. DJ throws the brambles down. Lelis kind of looping around right now, trying to essentially find Ice Ice Ice. Though he's being charged up anyway, so they have eyes on him. He'll go after DJ instead. DJ, Shadow Realm, TP away, should be successful, but Ice 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 won't be so lucky. He's still juking them out, but in the end, Lelis will find a secondary kill. And in fact, DJ, he didn't get the TP off. I thought he may have. And, well, with that, a charge will come out. DJ, again, Shadow Realm comes out. It will protect him for a bit. He thinks about turning around with the Brambles, and now Jabs will join Arbet. They want to go after 40 yard on the Lena. They won't really have the lockdown for him, though. He'll just kind of walk out of there alive. And it does end up being better for Pain Gaming this time around. They find the targets they want. They finally get the dual win on Lelis, and that's going to be nice. Um, still needs a lot more, but it's a bit of a boon for Pain already. And while all of this is happening, of course, you have a uh, Leo who's just farming freely. He does have his Midas up. He has had it early. Um, going to be very useful for him to accelerate and that does mean that pain can kind of set the pace a bit better now just a bit well, he'll get started on that ancient stack of course mp doing the same thing on the morphling but is starting to fall just slightly behind in terms of net worth at least to leo though fanatic run up the hill they do get the arena of blood off though he had got strength already pop so he could go for a team fight spear is there or oh, ice 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 he will find leo in the end but now ends up dying for the cause they might find DJ as well. The jewel comes out. Lilis. A neutral creep actually got DJ. <laughs> the Ancient actually found the final amount of damage onto DJ. They still got the jewel damage. But that is so unfortunate for Pain. <laughs> that is just not fair. That's just not fair for these guys. At the very least, they got that dual damage, as you mentioned. So 20 damage on Lilis. But man, you would have liked that gold. Would have oh, helped yeah. you towards your blink dagger, of course. Still though, Fnatic, they end up getting Leo on the Sven. Now, you do lose two heroes in the process, but considering one of them's essentially a deny to a neutral, you'd have to argue Fnatic would be very, very happy with that. Definitely so. Um, there's no arguing about that, of course. Again, you keep that Sven in check, make sure he doesn't progress in his itemization. He's not going to be doing too much. It's going to be very susceptible to kiting as well which we've Jabs. seen multiple times before. Jab's gonna cop a jewel from Lelis, and well, the charge is there as well from Triple Four, and he is dead. And I suppose this is what they were waiting for, right? Like, you just wait for Lelis to get online, and as soon as he feels ready, he'll just roam around the map, find those jewels, and just wait for the charge to come in. And that's what you need. You need to really start building up on this Legion Commander to buy you space if ever you need it on your spend. And he certainly is set to do that. 30 damage on Lelis now. Good amount. Probably one of the higher amounts we've seen from a Legion Commander early on. Oh, top lane though. Although Leo gets caught out in the arena of Blood Speed. Does go down as well. Bramble's now being dropped and he has no help around. He's just going to make a run for it for the moment. Though they have the Curse Crown out as well. He doesn't even have a TP available to use and it won't even matter. DJ again finding the kill with that Shadow Realm. And meanwhile, bot lane. Thea going to be in trouble. 4DR trying to turn around onto Jabs. But MP... Morphs into the Lena, uses that Light Strike Array and does find the kill, but now the charge comes in. They get the Light Strike Array off as well, though Ice 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 joins in, gets a spear off. Now the Bulwark as well. Triple Four throws out the Never Strike, but it won't even finish off. He will end up going down just beforehand. And Fnatic just found so much across the map. They definitely have. Again, they are finding the kills they want. They have been keeping that Sven in check. Um, we're seeing... I mean, he's not farming way too well now. In fact, he's being overtaken by his Legion commander, and, you know, Leo is just struggling. You know, he, he really needs to at least get that Echo Saber up, even when that item is up. It's not going to be enough. He needs a BKB at some point. He's going to need a bit more HP as well. He needs to really progress. And I don't see that happening fast enough for the Sven, especially if he dies in that lane anymore.
Things will slow down just slightly at 6 to 8 now. We'll have a look, quick look at the win probability, and it is the way of Fnatic. 70% their way, in fact. Of course, MP still farming up pretty decently. In fact, he overtakes the Sven on the net worth board now. He's going straight for that Mantis style after the Yasha. Looks like he has queued up a Lincoln Sphere as well after that. So, so far, Fnatic, they're getting everything they want. Pain. Not too far behind, it's just a very even game between these two. Really just looks like for pain's sake, it is Lilith that is setting up all the kills they need right now, and they just got to kind of rely on him while you do see Leo just farming up on that Sven. He went for the Midas build anyway, so he does need to take a bit of time out, just keep farming up. He is going to go for that Echo Saber first as well, it looks like, and he's about to pick one up. So, Fnatic... Nice scan out. They also have smoked up, and DJ will actually scout him out with that Observer Ward. Though pings did come out, it looks like the side of Pain are aware and may just hold their ground on the high ground. Hmm. Yeah, Fnatic, they'll back off. They realize they may have given away their position. I mean, that ward did spot um, Dark Willow dropping that ward of their own, so rather fortunate for Leo that he did have that protection. And that does foil the gank attempt from Fnatic. Again, just drawing us to a bit of a slower game. Although, Charge, jabs. jabs. Pretty much a sitting duck. He understands he's probably dead. Like, going for that D ward there, there's just not much you can really do. His team will go ahead and push up that T1 tower. They will claim the jewel once again. And, and that's basically a trade for a trade here, right? Like, Jabs gets a ward. Will allow his team to push the T1 top. Does end up dying. And in fact, they won't even find the T1 top because Leo just comes up with that God Strength, although Arbed will turn around, but now the charge being blocked off by the Brambles. 444 will get used up as well. They don't want him to never strike. Arena of Blood comes down as well. Now the Terrorize. That's the combination. Just look at all the damage being dealt right now. Oh my. It took a while, but we finally do get to see it coming out. And that is absolutely disgusting. It really is. <laughs> and, uh, that, that's really it. That's... um. That's just what you have to do. Drop the arena, drop the terrorize, and it's very, very, very easy to burn a bunch of people down quite fast. Although Lelis, um, no, he's just gonna get the D wards, and that's fair enough. Rather surprising that they are forcing these fights again from pain, and we are starting to see the issues with this draft. The Spirit Breaker can't quite charge freely, especially when the brambles are dropped by DJ. There's actually no way to pat around that. You know, there's no way to play around that as the Spirit Breaker, so you're just kind of stuck there, you're going to run in, you get stunned, and you are... that's it, you accept it. Jabs. A very deep Observer Ward up on that high ground now, of the Radiant Base. What do you think he's actually trying to gain from that Observer Ward? I mean, it, I guess in a way it'll scout out Triple Four Charging. Is that what he's put there for? Looks pretty mm. early to place a ward like that. It definitely is. Probably for that charge. That's the only real reason you think of. Maybe for courier sniping as well on the NP. Oh, That's speaking of MP, he's in trouble. Jewel will come out, though he does have help. Ice, ice, ice. It may have been a bait. They can't burst down this morphling. Egg will come out just in case. Leo actually gets stunned up while trying to run in. Well, they won't get anything out of that. At the very least, Payne will get the banner in down at the bot lane, but now the race is on for the top ones. And Jabs tends to not lose these races. So a two for two trade on those bounties. One problem still stands, and you've seen it a couple times now. Like, you can't really kill MP on that Morphling unless he makes a mistake and his agility morph the whole time. It's... It's not a good sign when you're relying on your enemy to make a massive mistake for you to capitalize and get a kill. I mean, it, it, it's just not all too great when you have to rely on them to make that kind of basic mistake. You have ways of doing that. Again, he doesn't have his Lincolns yet, so you can kind of surprise him. Oh, Lelis does manage to dodge them. Charge. Just be up towards that top lane. So they're going straight after Jabs, but he'll TP out immediately. There'll be no cancellation on that either. 40 uh, didn't have the Light Strike Array available to try and throw that out. Meanwhile, mid lane though, DJ almost gets caught out, but now Arbit jumps back in onto Lelis. They get the Spear off again. He's just been locked down and he is dead. Curse Crown will come out as well, just in case. A bit of mispositioning there from Pain. 
they will end up paying for it with their life. Oh, Ice Ice Ice. Looking to set up at that top lane. Jabs will end up finding Leo. Leo gonna make a run for it. He does have a TP available. Though Spear, Ice Ice Ice. It will make it in time. Now you have the Morphling coming in as well. As the Legion Commander. Waveform in. Leo still very tanky. But now Arbed's here as well with the stun. And they will get a massive kill on that Sven. And again, Pain, you, they can't afford to be that far forward like that, especially on the Sven by himself. Just that small mistake will put him on the on the, uh, the respawn board for about 40 seconds. And it does put MP ahead in terms of net worth on the Morphling. It is surprising for me that, again, Pain have been sporadic in their fights. Um, They're not as aggressive as you'd expect, although they're trying to get something done now. Triple four, gonna go on the Morphling. MP though will be fine, and now the Jewel will come out onto Jabs. So at the very least, they find the Nature's Prophet, they get the Jewel damage. That, that'll that pretty much be it though. Like, again, it's... Looking at Arbed and looking at MP, both those targets... I mean, Arbed is reasonable to kill, but... MP, you just don't even bother trying. Like, you just, you just can't. You have to start it off with that duel. You have to get that blink on to MP, but... The issue is, every single time, MP actually hangs in the back until the initiation's over. So you don't really have a clean way of jumping into him. And there are some pretty darn good wards from Fnatic watching over the areas nowadays, so... It's not the cleanest way to jump in, but before that Lincoln's is up, that's your best opening. Once it's up, you can't even get the duel off first. I do see a smoke now coming up from Pain. Jabs. Doesn't get spotted this time around. Does place a deep observer ward for himself. Pain. They could find MP be massive. Though smoke broken on triple four. MP gonna realize somebody's around though. Jewel does get off in time. He didn't get the uh, the the strength morph off in time either. So MP does go down. Now Ice 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 in massive trouble. He's gonna man fight this. Arbet jumps in again. They want to try and burst down the side of Pain Gaming. Can they actually do it? Leo trying to make a run for it, but he will go down. DJ once again. The egg not doing much. Who are they even chasing? It's Jabs on that profit they want, and they will find him. But without your position one, can you keep fighting? Lena, gonna get stunned up. 40 R really can't do much. A nice speed from Ice Ice Ice, but that actually helps him out a bit. Now they'll turn around onto Arbed. They've got Lelis there for the damage, and Arbed still alive, but will eventually go down. And now Lelis looking for more. He goes straight after DJ. Where's the lockdown though? He has Jewel in 10 seconds, and it won't be fast enough, but Lelis is still chasing. Buyback was there from Triple Four, just in case they could get a charge off. And in fact, DJ stuck around. We'll have the Shadow Realm off, but they got the charge in time as well. In fact, they will cancel the charge off as well. So, the side of Pain, just happy with the kills they got. Jabs may get caught out again if he's not careful. They don't have the detection for him, though. And so, 11 to 15 now. Less than 1k net worth lead to the side of Fnatic remains. But that was a nice, successful team fight for the side of the Radium. And that's really on the back of catching MP with his pants down, which you really have to do at this weak point of the Morphling. Without that, Lincoln's very susceptible to the Legion Commander. And I want to see more of that from Pain. They've got to do that more and more, because once that item's up, you have no answer to the Morphling. And it will be up pretty darn soon. It's like 40 R, just trying to farm up his Axe. In fact, he's already got the Axe. He just needs to bring out the Alacrity Blade on the Courier. Going for a Blink Dagger next, it seems. Meanwhile, Leo. His farm has slowed down quite a bit on the Sven. But he does have enough now to buy up that full BKB and it will come out on the Courier very soon as well. And that may indicate another smoke coming out from the Pain side. So many big items being picked up on their cores. They don't have a smoke though, it seems. No, in fact, they do. Triple four just picks one up off the courier. Fnatic, though, have remained grouped up around that tier one mid tower, and it's not going to be a great team fight for the side of pain to take. Although, Fnatic will go for a smoke. They know Theo's there down at the bot lane somewhere on the Phoenix. Theo will TP to the mid lane. Fnatic still trying to find a target in the Radiant Jungle. Pain are pretty much staying exactly where they need to be. 
just across the other side of the map, just staying away from the side of Fnatic until it's ready for them to smoke up instead. They may have to come back into that mid lane soon to defend that tier 2 tower, which is being pushed in slowly but surely by MP. Nope, Arbet just loses patience, his smoke wears off anyway, and they'll just show themselves. Should be able to get a good push going if they decide to. Again, with that NP, it should be fairly easy to squash these lanes out. I do like the wards they're dropping as well. Very deep in between that tier 2 and tier 3. Gives them a good vision in sieging that tier 2. And might catch Pain off guard. But look at this, the Roshan being taken right now by Pain. They're trying to sneak it while that mid lane was being pushed in. There's no creep wave there for Fnatic to push, but now they scan it out. They know the Roshan's being taken, but they've got to get there fast. They're teeping back towards those shrines in the mid tier 2 tower, but it might all be too late. The Roshan getting so darn low. They're in position now, but they've got to jump in ice ice ice. He will throw out the spear and does actually find Leo. The Roshan too low to leave alone. Now the team fight breaks out. Arena of Blood. The Age is still on the deck, but Leo, he picks it up just in the nick of time. Laguna coming out 40 r He'll find ice ice ice, but it costs him his life. Leo just wants to get out. He uses BKB though. No, it comes out. Lelis just trying to get out of there as well. Stormhammer onto Arbet. 4 4 4 still going jabs got to be careful to go down right now on that profit light striker a though connects on both now arbed is in massive massive trouble on the dk looks like he'll go down as well mp the next target triple four moving forward but dj does find the yules in the nick of time they have storm hammer available though waveform is there to dodge and pain gaming once again i don't know how they do it john but they come out on top in that team fight it looked really messy I and mean, that was a really really messy start in that roche pit but in the end, Pain managed to grab that Aegis. They lose out in the gold. They still get that objective they want. They manage to transition to that tower. And they get some really big kills from that as well. They kill off Abed. They kill off Ice Ice Ice. Those are pretty darn big. And that's a very good use of that first BKB pop from Leo. So it's a good time for them. They get some good chip damage on this tier 2 as well. And again, it's a fairly even game, all things considered. 14 to 16 at 28 minutes in. It's almost like a repeat of game two if you uh game one if you think about it. Like just this kind of even pacing for both teams and pain just suddenly jumping in at one moment and turning it all around. Not great news at all. Not for Fnatic anyway. At the very least, you've almost got that Lincoln Sphere now available on MP. How much is it really gonna help though, I wonder? Like it does block the jewel out at least, so he's a lot less afraid of dying. In terms of the damage though, like, it's not going to help that cause out too much. Perhaps he doesn't really need it though anyway. Like, once you finish up the Lincolns, he'll probably go for either an Ethereal or an Eye of Scardi. And that'll probably be enough. Oh. Leo dodging a, almost a gank attempt coming out from DJ. Oh, you know, Arbed, looks like he's just trying to finish off a Maelstrom on that DK, and we saw this slow Maelstrom coming out from him before on an Ember Spirit. Surprisingly enough, Lelis really doesn't have much on that Legion Commander. Looks like he is going to go ahead and pick up a 10 second BKB though now. Has got 76 stolen damage as well. Do you think he just, do you think Lelis just goes for that level 25 plus 40 jewel damage talent? Like, at that level 25 mark? Hmm. It, it really depends on how you itemize as well beyond what you have right now. If you go Ags, it's kind of worthwhile. Like, you, you're basically almost guaranteed to keep snowballing. And it basically ensures that you kill off one hero every single time. If you don't, then... It really depends. Like, sometimes that added damage doesn't do much. You really need to be able to have more utility on your side. The Legion Commander, as the game goes on, just can't lay the smackdown as often as you want. And there is a smoke coming out from Pain. Perhaps a bit of an engagement if they manage to catch someone out. 
Lillis couldn't really get that jewel off onto the Morphling, but MP does have that Lincoln Spear up, and look at his positioning. He breaks the smoke, though Lelis kind of knew he was there, though MP gets out, and now the Stormhammer will essentially break that Lincoln's for MP. Yules will come out from DJ. Triple four, though, still wants to move forward, and they'll go into Ice Ice Ice. He popped his BKB, but he's still copying a hell of a lot of damage. Meanwhile, on the back lines, X being thrown out as well. Arbed, he's falling low on that DK. Now the jewel. Can they burst him down in time? It looks like they probably can, although no. Arbed they won't get the jewel damage but they'll get the kill they go after MP now but he's still okay meanwhile Leo he'll go after Ice 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 who does manage to finish off 4DR MP still being chased down almost dies but no morphs back into the morphling can they actually lock him down long enough though the answer looks like it's probably no though Lelis is still making the chase Brambles again comes out from DJ with the cursed crown now Pain may be forced to back off the DJ We'll blink out of there. He was still in Shadow Realm, so he can do that. And they may just go for a T3 push right here, right now. There's not many buybacks available on Fnatic. And if they realize this, this will be an easy T3 tower. It's a big opening for Pain again. They still have that Aegis up on Leo as well. And by the time these heroes respawn, he's going to have God Strength up. A lot of damage being copped there by Leo though. Now they need to get out before the punishment comes in from Fnatic. The MP looking for a target. Oh, oh no, Jabs. He gets jeweled up immediately and goes down. Now DJ gets charged as well. He's gone. MP trying to get the hell out of there. Lincoln's has been broken. They don't have jewel though and they will end up finding Leo as the trade. Next will be Theo on the Phoenix. Nice sprout there from Jabs. He did have to buy back for that though. Ice Ice Ice? BKB? I I feel like that was on purpose to block the charge in case it came out, but even then, it perhaps just a mistake. Perhaps, nonetheless, it's still a pretty successful defense from Fnatic. They find the kills they want. Of course, um, unfortunately enough for Lels, he didn't find the duel that time, uh, copying it onto the Lincoln's end. That's a nice set of uh, kills for Fnatic. Again, they hold off on their high ground. Tree or tier 3 is pretty much dead. But you still hold on. You, you can't take the Shrine set if you are Pain. And that means you're going to have to attempt again. And that was with the Aegis already, mind you. So they might have to wait for the next Aegis as well. So 19 to 19. The net worth graph still 1k. Just 1k the way of Fnatic. It's, it's been so even. In fact, neither side has actually had an advantage greater than 4k this whole game. Uh, that is pretty darn insane. It really is. It really reminds you of game one, right? For the majority of that game, net worth, graph, net worth gap was really negligible. And it was only in those last set of pickoffs where the advantage went to pain. Before that, it was just way too even to even note. DJ in a peculiar position right now down at the bot lane. Just trying to scout out what's going on here from the side of Pain. Pain just sticking together, although no, they scouted out DJ thanks to that sentry ward. He does blink forward, but he is surrounded now. Shadow Realm will only last so long. No help will come in. In fact, they get the jewel off as well. That'll make it 128 jewel damage now for Lelis. Top lane. Big lights, Laguna Blade coming out. Ice, Ice, Ice. He has BKB up. He goes to the TP play. He should survive, but no. 40R just barely has enough damage. Fnatic losing another team fight on both sides of the map. Well, essentially, not even a team fight, just two heroes going down. Yeah, that's a bit strange coming out from Ice, 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 especially. He did pop his BKB again, so that's going to be down to seven seconds now. And it's going to be lower and lower as the game goes on, of course. So he, that's not a good bit of news. Looks like Pain is going to be setting up to push in that top lane as well. So going to be cutting those waves perhaps to get their own push going. Maybe take that tier 2, although Leo is far forward again. Clears out that wave and probably being scouted out by MP. No jumps being made though. Fnatic not quite in the position to force anything out just yet. They'll go for that T2 top tower instead. Meanwhile, 
40 yard. Just going to be down to the bot lane, ensuring that Jabs can't split push. There will be a fortification, but with that, Pain probably not going to really back off here. Fnatic aren't really even trying to defend. In fact, no, they'll back off now. 40 yard, just here to join the team, but they're gone. Perhaps baiting the side of Fnatic to move forward. They don't, however. So Fnatic, they have smoked up. They're going to loop around from the behind. One big arena of blood could turn this around with the Terrorize, as we've seen in Leo. Gonna get caught out first. Smoke is broken, but he didn't really react. Now the BKB comes out with the God Strength. Arbet just getting destroyed right now underneath the shrine. They burst him down. Ice 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 trying to get out of there with MP. The egg was there, of course, as well. It was just way too scary of a fight. Leo jumps back in, but Lincoln's has been broken thanks to that Storm Hammer. Now the waveform forward. MP still wants his spend. He is still okay, though, being healed up in the middle of all this. Leo just so darn tanky. Lelis behind him, trying to help him out. MP now needs to get the hell out of there. The Spirit Vessel ticking him down slowly, but surely. They'll go after Jabs instead, although DJ dishing a hell of a lot of damage on the Dark Willow, but is it enough? Jabs about to tick down. They found Theo on the Phoenix. He has no Icarus Dive and should end up losing his life and does a two for three trade coming up for Fnatic this time around in fact it may be four but no they don't have a stun still though Fnatic gonna be very happy about that that was actually four deaths on the side of pain there was a buyback from triple four but it did not pay off that's a pretty solid exchange going out for Fnatic this time around it evens out the killboard 23 to 23 and they do manage to catch a couple of the heroes they really wanted to kill. Now, that wasn't very clean, and they actually transitioned to the Rosh at very least, although, yeah, no, they're going to be able to take this Rosh. You have to admit right now, though, that the Sven is looking really scary. He has that Daedalus up, you can't actually just man fight him, and if he itemizes right, you're really going to struggle killing this hero off, so to see how they do work that Sven out, but again, this second Rosh is going to be free, going the way of Fnatic. No contest coming out from Pain. And that's going to be the Aegis and Cheese going their way. Yeah, nice pick up there for Fnatic now. Looks like MP did opt to go for that Ethereal Blade on the Morphling as well, so... You've got his answer to the problem that a Fnatic are having. I say they're having a problem, it's still 23 to 23 with the 2k net worth lead their way. They will deny the tier 2 mid tower on their own. Meanwhile, DJ just casually picking up a Scythe of Vice on the Dark Willow now. It's going to help the cause a hell of a lot, especially if you catch Leo out before that BKB gets popped or even afterwards. Even, of course, Lelis on that Legion Commander, who's still yet to hit 25, and I'm very curious as to what he goes for. Like, the AoE press the attack is pretty darn nice. It's kind of hard to skip that, but... You know, the, the pub stomper in, inside of me, John, just wants that plus 40 jewel damage. <laughs> I mean, he has 154 damage right now. I'm not sure if you really need any more. It's never enough. Just the, it's never. never enough. The utility for impress the attack in an AoE, though. Yeah, you have to admit that this spell is going to be very useful. And it's, it's something to watch out for if pain does hit that point. We are about to get into that point of the game. So, you know, it, it should be coming out fairly soon. Not quite yet, but in probably like maybe 5 minutes, 10 at most, if it goes way too slow. But more than likely within 5 minutes, we're going to see that 25. Well, Fnatic, they farm up the Radiant Jungle a bit and immediately back off to defend that top lane. You do have the Ethereal Blade come out onto MP on that Morphling now as well. So Fnatic starting to really come online with this Morphling. You kind of wonder what Payne's response is. They are just farming up on their own side of things, and Lelis looks to be set to just go for the Mjolni before he does anything else. He does have the gold for it if he wishes to, but it will leave him with, I believe, no buyback if he does pick it up. Yeah, and that's going to be pivotal at this point in the game. We are 41 minutes in. You're going to need to save for that buyback because one bad engagement could spell the end of the game. 
So gonna have to work his way towards an allowance for that. Top lane. Gonna slowly be pushed in here from Fnatic. Lincoln's already broken from the charge of triple four. You have two waveform charges now, thanks to that level 25 talent from MP. Doesn't actually opt for the uh, the multi-shot adaptive strike, which we see so often. I suppose it's fair enough, though. He does need a way to get in and out. So having those two charges is really going to help out with that. It's like Pain Gaming as well. They're just kind of set to defend. They're not really looking to be the aggressors this time around. I think that's perfectly fair enough as well. I mean, Fnatic are much more threatening at this stage of the game. So perhaps hoping that Fnatic kind of get out of position and make it a little bit of a mistake for them to pick off. But Fnatic are doing no such thing either. They definitely aren't. They're playing it safe. They're taking their time. Even when they have that Aegis and Cheese, you know, it, it does seem like they understand that they are a bit stronger in this point in the game. It really depends on how Pain does itemize they do have 25 up on Leo, so that's 40 additional strength in his God Strength form. That's going to be a bit scary to come up against. And he is almost done with that Assault Curus. He is kind of rushing it, so he's probably not going to have buyback gold once he finishes that item. We'll have a quick look at the win probability as well. and It is still Fnatic's way, 65%. It kind of dip Payne's way for just a little bit at the 33 minute mark, but that was about 9 minutes ago now. I have to point out to you, Mike, press yes. the attack talent taken up for Lelis. So he does have that AOE dispel and heal. Yeah. No dual damage for you, Mike. Look, I mean, I, I was saying that, John. Obviously, I realized press the attack is the better <laughs> option here. Bane, <laughs> uh, they don't need the damage. Like, Leo is just hitting like an absolute truck right now. Just keep everyone alive. They are going to smoke up. Waveform's being used by MP. He still has one charge available, though. They must know where Fnatic is. Just how do you approach them while they're just holding this high ground? Well, smoke will get broken on triple four. Radiant scan will scout them out. Leo just looping around from the back as well. But again, just nobody really just diving in yet. They don't have any Observer Wards above on that high ground either, so you can't hope for a charge in. With that, they'll just back off straight back to the base. Don't want to risk anything here. Essentially, the winner of the next team fight could just finish the game. Especially if the winner is Fnatic. And... Or we go back to a bit of a stalemate. Really does remind you of game one. We had a period where this kind of happened as well. Both teams just took their time farming up. Fnatic secured themselves a bit of a lead, but then Pain just finds an opening. Let's see if they find that opening this time around, although they reveal their smoke. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest storm hammer in the world by Leo. Pings came out immediately from Fnatic, though perhaps they're trying to bait them in. They do jump in straight onto the morph. MP in trouble. The jewel was there. He doesn't get the strength morph off. 40 Yarnell going after Arbed. The arena was dropped, but it does absolutely nothing. Arbed, he eats or uses the Satanic. It's not going to be enough, though, surely. Still trying to fight this out. A lot of damage being dealt towards Pain. There was a buyback coming up from MP. Now they'll go after the Legion Commander, but first the Egg. Now Lilis goes down as well. Leo, he'll get caught out on the Sven, and he is definitely dead as well. Oh my. It looked so good, but the buyback came out from MP, and now 4DR, he's stuck around too long. Four buybacks immediately out from Pain. They're going to go for another team fight. They don't care. Screw it, let's just do it. But no, they do cancel the charge off from 4DR, or uh, triple four. I mean, it looked so good for a second. It's just not long enough. They only got MP, essentially. Just so much control from Fnatic, and I believe most of it was just DJ. He has been doing a lot of work on this uh, Dark Willow. And again, with that blink, with the Sight of Vice, it's just very hard to play up against this. Oh, they found triple four. Oh, he went to four. That's a dieback on him. And now Fnatic have an opening. There's no buybacks available right now on the side of Pain either. Fnatic should know about this. And I imagine this will be the first high ground attempt you see out of them. Under 
still. You still have Leo to worry about. He has got strength in about 10 seconds. But 40R being down, it's going to make it a lot harder to actually make the jump in. Fnatic, going to move into the top racks. Should be fairly easy to clean up as well. Just no defense attempt really coming out of pain. They can't afford to. Can you get the mid lane though? Arbed, he'll go into the dragon form. He wants to do this as quick as possible. I only see them getting the T3 tower out of this. Because 40R is about to respawn. And Lelis, or Leo, will jump in. Now Spear comes out. Ice 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 trying to set up a kill here. Leo trapped in the Sprout. Doesn't have a Quelling Blade available. But no, they just turn around. The egg being dropped. It's not going to be enough though. Now Lelis jumps in for the duel. Who the hell's he even dueling? Terrorize comes out. Arbed, he'll survive it. Lelis in trouble, will survive it, 40R gets caught out, he BKBs up, but he might still be dead, in fact he's not, but with no buybacks available on Leo, or Theo on the Phoenix, I'm not sure if you can defend that final lane of Rax down the bot lane, they're gonna try, they jump in, Lelis, he's by himself, he doesn't even have Jewel available, now, Ice 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 gets a spear off onto 40R, bursts that leaner down and he's gone. Triple four now, just trying to defend by himself with the charge. How much time can you buy? The GG's been called anyway, they've had enough. A pretty entertaining game number two, but Fnatic will come out on top eventually. And it'll force us to the second game three of today. Yeah, I mean, it's just again a bit of a back and forth, even start. And really even game until maybe the 35 minute mark and that's